everything is okay right here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my second time trying to film this video because my camera wants to act up. But hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're here again, hey girlies. Today I am giving you Hora the Explorer. Um, I cut my hair yesterday. I got about like an inch or two cut off and then I decided to get bangs. They were very spontaneous and I feel like I look 12 again, but hey. It's okay. So yesterday me and my mom went to Ulta and I picked up quite a few little products and I thought I would do a beauty haul because I haven't done one on my channel in a while and I got a lot of stuff that just recently came out. For example, I got a palette that was released today but they let me buy it yesterday. I don't know why, but they did, so <laughs> So I'm going to be showing you guys all of the makeup products that I got. I'll also be telling you the prices, so when you go to Ulta, you are not going to be surprised thinking it's 19 bucks, and then you're like, oh my gosh, it's 48 Because there have been incidences where I have seen beauty gurus using these palettes, and I'm like, okay, it's probably 25 bucks. I go to the store 75 So I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the prices. I'll do little ghetto swatches. I'm not Jeffree Star. I'm not Manny MUA. I'm not Bretman, so you are not going to get that much from me, but I'm going to try my best. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this Lorac palette. I got this, obviously from Ulta, I already said that. But I got this because I don't have any blushes. All I have is ugh, California or Californiation, something like that from Benefit. That's literally the only blush I use every day and it barely shows up. So I went ahead and got this and it comes with four different colors. Two of them actually come off as highlighters in my opinion, especially the Fearless one and the Rose. They look more highlightery. So if you want a shimmery color, go for that. But I really liked See Beyond because it's, you know, not too shimmery and I like matte colors. This palette will cost you about $28, but I thought it was a pretty good investment because each color is about, what, seven bucks each, so it's not that bad. The next item I got was actually released today, and this is the Too Faced Glitter Bomb Palette. And I'm so excited to use this because I love glitter colors. You can't really see because I have bangs now and my eyes are kind of covered, but I have only a highlighter like shimmer on my eyelids. At the moment, I've really been liking shiny stuff. I don't know why. But this is what the palette looks like. And if you shake it, it actually has real glitter in it. It's so cute. This is what it looks like when you open it. It has all these really pretty colors, really pretty glitters, and they are big much of it. Big much of it. I like them. It comes with an identifying, or identifying. It comes with an intensifying base, a white one and a black one, so your colors can look more darker. But I already have their glitter glue, so I'm just going to use it with that. Now, this palette is a little bit more expensive than the last one, but it's eyeshadows and it is Too Faced, so what do you expect? This, I believe, is $48. Like I said, it's a little bit more pricey. But I don't really have a glitter palette, so I thought it would be okay to invest in it. The next palette that I got is the Urban Decay Heat Palette. You guys know I love the Naked palettes. I actually have all three of them, but I never use them. I love them, but I just never use them. I have a problem that when I get new makeup, I put all my other old makeup to the side and I never touch it again, so I definitely need to go back to those. But me and my mom were super excited for this palette to come out and I finally picked it up. So this is what the palette looks like. A lot of people in the store were saying that this was their favorite one out of all of them. So let's see. Oh yes, you guys. Y'all know I love a good bronzy eye. When I do my eyeshadow, it's either a bronze look or a super dark look or I use like colored liners. So this is going to probably be my everyday like palette just because it has everything I need and I know that all of the colors are super pigmented. This palette will run you about $54, but that's normal. That's what you should expect from every naked palette. They're all the exact same price. Now these aren't really new products, but I wanted to show them anyways because a lot of people ask me what I use for my eyebrows because typically I will use these two, but lately I've been using my BH Cosmetics Brow Palette because I just never decided to go to the store and pick these up. So if I'm not using the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Brow Pomade or the Brow Stick, I'm using the NYX My... Can this jet not... Thank you for fighting our country salute, but can you not while I'm filming? Oh wow, it stopped. So this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I get them always in the darkest color because I have dark brown to black hair naturally. And then I also got a regular one just because it has... I don't know, a thicker stick, I guess. I used both of these, so I just wanted to get them both. And it was also buy one, get one half off, so I'm like, why don't I take advantage of that deal? And y'all already know NYX is cheap. Both of these were under $10. Come on, goodbye. Thank you. Next, I picked up the Becca and Chrissy Teigen Glow Face Palette. I saw this on her Instagram and also on the Shade Room because I keep up to date with all of that and they were promoting this so I was like okay let me try it out. I only know Chrissy Teigen as the wife of John Legend, I'm not sure what else she does, 
but she got a palette, so she must be doing something. This palette runs for about 46 bucks, so let's see. I swatched them in the store and I really liked them. I already love Becca Cosmetics, so I already knew I would love these. So this is what the palette looks like. Super, super cute, super pretty. It has a wonderful blush, super pigmented, and then of course you get the beautiful highlighters. And I actually thought, I was like, if this is a palette that they're just sticking their old highlighters in, I'm not going to buy it, but it actually comes with Beach Nectar and Rose Gold, and neither of those, I believe, are current highlighters that they sell separately. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. I'm not up to date with everything, but that's what I saw in the store. I didn't see that they had these two already sold, so yeah, got this. I went ahead and picked up a primer because lately I have not been priming my face before I put my foundation on, and because of that, I got a pimple on my face. You have to always put a primer, you guys. Sometimes it doesn't make the big of a difference, but I feel like it's better to have a barrier between your skin and all of the oils and nastiness that's in your foundation because I'm sorry, I don't care if you say, my foundation's oil free. No, it's not. Go ahead, get a piece of cardboard, pump like two or three things of your foundation, let it sit throughout the day and you will see all the oil form. I saw that picture on Instagram. There's no such thing as an oil free foundation. Actually, I think Avon on that like little list of all of them was like the least oily. But, like in reality, you're probably not using Avon Cosmetics, you're not 55. So, I wanted to go ahead and get the Too Faced Proactive Nourishing Hangover RX Primer. And yeah, this is going to be my first time trying it. It's silicone free, so it's better for your skin. Next thing I got was this Naked Skin Color, 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 color Correcting Fluid. It is just like the regular um, concealers, except this one is green. Um, I'm not really like dealing with acne at the moment. My skin's actually been pretty good. I don't know what's going on, maybe it's all the biotin I've been taking, but my skin has been... I got this for those days whenever, you know, a pimple like this decides to show up, and green will actually cancel out all redness on your face, so that's why I picked this up. And I already love the Naked Skin um, concealers, so I was like, why not I try this one out? And this concealer will run you about 28 bucks. I also picked up two of Stila's Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. Bretman actually showed these to me one day, and wow! Wow. Like I said, I am loving glitters. I am loving shiny things. Ooh, ooh. I am loving shiny things right now, so that is why I picked these both up. I got Rose Gold Retro and Smoky Storm. There was another color that I really wanted, but they were sold out of it. And these will run you 24 bucks each. And then they gave me all these like random ass samples, but let's see, what are they? I got the All Nighter Liquid Foundation. I have never tried this, but I have tried their skin foundation and it broke me out. Then Becca came with a First Light Priming Filter, so a little primer. And then I also got the Cover FX Metafine Primer with acne or anti-acne treatment. And you know she gave this to me because she saw that giant pimple on my face, the shade. But yeah, that is basically everything that I got. I just wanted to do a little haul for you guys because I'm trying to upload every single day on my channel for the month of July. I know that sounds crazy and that sounds like a lot of work, but I'm really trying to do it because I really want to show my dedication to my channel because you guys have no idea how grateful I am to have this platform. And if I can put content out and make people smile during summer because honestly, when I was about like 12 to 15 years old, yeah, sometimes I would hang out with my friends, but most of the time I was bored at home watching Shane Dawson. So I want to put out content for you guys to be entertained with as well. But yeah, um, I'm going to be in Arizona for the next week, so you guys are going to see a lot of videos in this room or with like my family, my brother, or like friends and stuff like that. And then next week it will be back to scheduled, vid well not scheduled, it will be everyday still. But it will go back to, you know, Denzel, Ricky, like seeing those friends again, James, stuff like that, and you'll see my normal background in my apartment again. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a comment and a, subs and a subscribe. That made sense, Vanessa. Make sure you subscribe, comment below your favorite makeup product that you have tried so far this summer, leave a like as well I have merch and I have a tour coming up make sure you submit your city below so we know to come and by we I mean me and James so we don't show up in Houston Texas and nobody wants us there we need to know where to go so click that link below on the next screen there's gonna be a little button for you to click it'll be my face it'll get you subscribed to my channel right away or you can click on the little square and it'll take you to my latest video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video